Editing the length of your music to perfectly match the duration of your video can be a tedious task. The new Remix feature inside Premiere Pro aims to solve that problem by simply clicking and dragging the music clip to the duration that you want, and it will automatically create those cuts or remix the music file for you. Since this feature is new, I'm currently doing this demonstration in Premiere Pro Beta. If you're watching this tutorial later, it may already be in the full version of Premiere Pro. To access the beta version of any Creative Cloud app, just open up your Creative Cloud app browser, and over here on the sidebar, you can install any of the beta apps that you see here. To kick things off, we wanna make sure that you have access to your Essential Sound window. So go up to Window, Essential Sound, and for this example, I want to shorten this music clip to fit all of these video clips on the top. You can access the Remix tool over here underneath the Ripple Edit tool. If you click and hold down the mouse, underneath the Rate Stretch tool, we now have access to the Remix tool. And all I have to do is click and drag on the end of the music clip with the Remix tool to any duration that I want it to be. I think one of the mind-blowing things about this effect is how fast it works. As you can see, I can click and drag, and as I'm talking to you, I've changed the edit of this music. I can't even count how many times, but I'm doing it while I'm talking to you. That's something that I can't do as a human being that fast. Now, whether or not the edits sound good, I'll let you be the judge. Anytime you see one of these squiggly lines, that's where it's created an artificial cut to remix this music. So I'll preview some of these so you can be the judge on how well it did those transitions. That was seamless. 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 So there's a little bit of flanger going on there, but I'm really, really trying to listen for it. And if you don't understand what I mean by that, it's just thinning out the mix a little bit to create that transition. I don't know exactly what it does on the back end to kind of squish those two together, but if I wasn't physically looking at this editor, would I be able to tell that if I was watching a video? Probably not. It's, look, I did a whole video on this feature when it was an audition and it blew my mind. It just blows my mind that there's this feature now in Premiere Pro. And regardless of if you use Audition or Premiere Pro, it's crazy what this is capable of doing in, sh in such a short period of time. So now let me try a song with lyrics in it and see how well it does. And <laughs> It took the lyrics and it was able to make the edit there and it made sense what the person was saying. Every time, every night, you and I gotta go. How good this feature is. <laughs> this is one of those tutorials where I could give you much more examples of me playing around with it, but this is such a case by case basis. And I, you, as editors, are smart. The remix tool is there. Right now it's in Premiere Pro Beta. Later it'll be in the full version of Premiere Pro. I think it's pretty intuitive on how it works. You click, you drag to where you want it to be. And if you want it to be a target duration, you can put that right here. If you were to hit stretch here, what that does is just speed it up or slow it down what you are accustomed to hearing which is obviously something that you would only use in unique situations. Two other parameters that you have access to change is to remix using more edits. If I do edit length 10, 
Notice how there's fewer edits in the music. If I do short, obviously there is much more edits in there, as well as a slider on what features it should focus on when creating those edits. So you could focus on timbre or harmonic characteristics when searching for optimal transition points. I have this go up to 10. It changes where those cuts are. I go over to timbre. Again, it changes where those cuts are. How well this feature works is completely dependent on the project that you're working on, but in terms of the amount of time it takes to at least try the remix tool and see what you get is arguably no time whatsoever. So the whole upside to at least throwing the music in there and just clicking and dragging, seeing if it fits, and then maybe you'll get lucky and just automatically have a cut. It's a really cool feature. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. I just wanna say a thank you to those that are subscribed to the channel. This is one of the first videos that I've recorded after passing 100,000 subscribers and I just got the thing from YouTube. It's been an amazing journey. Thank you so much for watching the channel and if you have subscribed and watched my stuff, again, thank you so much. Um, you, if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe. If you're looking for more new features within Premiere Pro, I made a video about it right here. And until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.